Mr. Mayor Beeson, questions? Okay. Can I first have you say and spell your first and last name for me? Merritt Beeson, M-E-R-R-I-T-T-B-E-A-S-O-N. Thank you. It's awesome. I love it. I had to get adjusted to the cold. <laughs> had to get learning how to drive in the snow lessons from Jay Ray, but I'm loving it so far. Jalen's giving you driving lessons? Jalen. I know. The Ironic. Hawaii, the, Hawaii but <laughs> the Hawaii guy, yep. <laughs> Wait, how, how have you found just, I mean, it's a new team to integrate yourself with. I mean, there's a lot of other newcomers here too. How has that process gone? What's, what's it been like for you? Yeah, it's definitely different this year with six of us being a new addition to the team and we are really young but I think that's allowed us to mesh really well together um, since we are a young team and since half of the team is new you know it has been a big learning curve and there's been lots of things that we've had to learn really really fast but all of the girls that have been here were really welcoming and open welcomed us with open arms so they've made the transition really easy. What's been the biggest adjustment for you volleyball wise? Hmm, I wouldn't say it's necessarily an adjustment, but I think the biggest thing that has stood out to me is just the level of competition in the gym day in and day out. Um, how hard those girls go each and every day, um, and the coaches, how hard they push us. It's been, it's been really cool to see and to be a part of. So I wouldn't necessarily say it was a challenge, but it was something that I noticed from the start that I was like, wow, this is really special. What's your reaction to the spring game tickets being sold out in under an hour? It's insane. Um, being from Alabama, volleyball is not huge. So for me, it's been really cool just to see like how big volleyball is up here. And that's one of the reasons that I wanted to come here was how big and how important volleyball is. So I don't know. It blows my mind to think about it. So super cool. First time playing beach for Nebraska, mm -hmm. too. Would you enjoy that season? I mean, you got a trip to Hawaii, a trip back to Alabama, too. Yeah. I mean, what, was, what was your takeaways from that? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, it was really fun just to kind of get away from indoor a little bit. There's so many things in beach that are way different than indoor. I mean, for example, like there's only two of you. So learning how to work with someone else just one on one, there's not five other people on the court with you. So me and Harper were partners. And so I got to learn a lot about Harper and learn kind of how she works and what was going to work best for us. So I don't know, it was super fun. Fun to be outside, fun to be in warm weather, but mm -hmm. I loved it. Did you have a family go to those matches in Alabama? Or yes, yep. A lot of my grandparents, cousins, my parents, all of them got to come, so it was really cool. Do you see a skill that you're going to be able to, you think you'll be able to improve on because of the training and competition? You, you won't know until the end of the or yeah. season gets gone, but do you feel like you're going to be better at something? Oh, I think I'm going to be better at all of the skills <laughs> by far. I've already gotten better at every single skill. I think, um, obviously, I've been in college volleyball before, but I think just learning how things are here at Nebraska and changing and making those little tweaks already, I've already seen a big difference. So, I mean, one skill in particular probably will be blocking just because it's different here from how I've been taught before. But, I mean, like I said, I've already improved so much in each aspect of my game. So I just see it continuing on that trend. How's the uh, how's the how's it been kind of getting the chemistry with the uh, the players that have been here and obviously the new players as well? As perfect as it could have gone, it has gone. Um, it's been really smooth sailing so far. Like I said, I think it definitely helps that we are young and that the juniors are the oldest girls on the team. But the the freshmen are they are a fun group, but they're also very dedicated and. You couldn't even tell that they were freshmen. So I think, like I said earlier, the upperclassmen and those that have been here longer have welcomed us really, really easily. And they made that transition easy for all of us. And so the freshmen coming in and me coming in, we just felt welcomed, which I thought allowed our team chemistry to build from the ground up. And it's been really cool so far. Coach Cook said that the six of you newcomers were, weren't bashful at all. And he likes that you guys were able to fit in well. Um, the other hand, Lev, what's your favorite thing about uh, Coach Cook and his coaching style so far? I love how hard he pushes us, but he also is very encouraging when he needs to be. So I think that he has found the perfect balance between being able to get the best out of girls while also encouraging them at the same time. And I know for me, that's really special to be a part of. So that would definitely be my favorite. Why does Coach call you MB3? <laughs> Well, I I have a logo and I run volleyball camps back home and it's MB13 because the 13 makes up the B, but I didn't correct coach. So originally he was calling me MB3 and I just let him do it. And then he found out eventually that it was MB13, but he just stuck with the MB3. So it's kind of a joke. <laughs>
Are you keeping MV3 or you want to go back to 1-3? <laughs> well, it's technically 1-3, but coach just says MV3. <laughs> Do you like graphic design on the side too? Like I, took, I took a few classes in high school um, called Ad Design, and I, uh, I loved it. So it was just Adobe Illustrator, and so the logo that I have, I actually came up with. And my friend that was in the class with me, I was really busy at the time, so she actually put it together. But um, yeah, I got to do the Brazil logo, like Coach said. And I don't know, I don't do it often, but it is when I have the opportunity, it's something that I enjoy. Is that a volunteer thing, or is like, Coach, let me do this, or did you? <laughs> he right? asked me to do it, and I was like, yeah, of course, I would love to. Yeah. All right. Thanks.